was prosecuted during the election campaign. We went to the election uh, with a plan for lower taxes to build a stronger economy to secure Australia's future. Scott Morrison is set to depart on his first overseas trip since winning the election, this time to the Solomon Islands. The visit is designed to send a clear message that the federal government is serious about its so-called Pacific Step Up program. Professor Caitlin Byrne, director of the Griffith Asia Institute, says that's a strategy designed to cement Australia's influence in the Pacific region. This is clearly a signal um, demonstrating that Australia is committed through its foreign policy to the Pacific Island region. And it's a clear, clear signal to the rest of the world, including China and the US, um, that Australia wants to play a very active role and is looking at ways to build its influence in our own region. We are in the midst of strategic change, you know, the likes of which we really haven't seen for decades. Uh, China's rise is, of course, the number one feature of that change and the strategic rivalry between the US and China, but also fragmentation around the rest of the world. So there is a lot happening. I think for Australia, how we navigate our way through that change is particularly important. Our diplomacy will be really important in that space. And the way that we actually engage within our own region, the Pacific Islands, of course, I think the Prime Minister has talked about the Pacific Islands as being Australia's backyard. Um, it's where our priorities really should lie. And so this is a bit of a step up. It's a Pacific pivot, if you like. And Scott Morrison's visit, first visit um, to the Solomon Islands, really is a signal that we want to take this region seriously. It's the first visit by a Prime Minister, Australian Prime Minister, since Kevin Rudd visited in 2008. So it really is a bit of a shift. And Australia, I think, you know, we're a middle power, we need to play a role and we need to use our instruments of diplomacy very carefully in this space. We are actually a significant power in terms of global indicators, um, but we don't necessarily match up with some of our counterparts when it comes to our diplomatic uh, reach, the number of diplomats, our posts overseas and their size. So I think that's a, a fair call by Loi. Um, I think also we've seen some increases over recent years some new posts opening up. Um, we've seen a greater emphasis, not just on the traditional levers of diplomacy, but also on other dimensions of power. Australia's soft power, for example, our people-to-people -people connections, the links we make through support. So I think there are a lot of opportunities for us to really increase our diplomatic influence and and gravitas, um, but it has to be taken seriously and it really has to be valued. And now is really the time to be doing that. Investigations are continuing at the scene of a fatal house.